Hi everybody, welcome to BI land. In this video, we are going to see how to look up a value between two values in another table and that with no unique keys between the two tables. You will for sure encounter this kind of needs in your work or projects as a data analyst. We are going to go through this with a practical example. Ready to boost your DAX skills? Okay, let's do it. Basically, I have two tables. My first table, which is my client reception table, is a table saying the client has received on which dates. I see, for example, for the client 7608, I have two reception dates. One was 2022 and second was 2016. What I want to know is the category of the client on this date. I have another table says that between this date and this date, the start date and end date, I have a category for this client, which is not the same for different dates. So I have multiple lines, for example, between 2020 and 2023, the category of this client was BI. And then I have another line saying that between 2015 and 2017, the category was BM. And then another line saying that between 2018 and 2019, it was HH. So I see that there are multiple lines. What I need to do is that I take this date here. I say that this date, which is April 2022, I look up between two dates that are here and which line it corresponds and I bring the category. So as we see, there are multiple lines for, for a certain client here and the same on this table. So we can't have a relationship between two tables. If we could have relationship between two tables, the problem would have been different and the approach would have been different. But in this case, there is no relationship between the two tables. And also, when we are talking about lookup value, when, when we see this kind of problems, we, we might think of lookup value, like immediately lookup value DAX function. But the problem again with lookup value is that it will bring a unique value. Why here? I wouldn't have a unique value for this client. So potentially, it's going to cause us problem. So let's see how we can solve this problem. Okay, now that we know what we are looking for, let's start our calculation. We are on the reception table. We had two tables, category and reception tables. I'm going to create a column where we can see the category of the client on this date. So let's come here and create a new column. I'm going to call this client category at reception. I'm going to use variables to do this. If you don't know how to use variables, go watch my other video on this subject. First variable is going to be client. I'm going to call this client and it's going to be client from our reception table where I, I am doing my calculation because we are going to iterate on each line to do our calculation. And my second variable is going to be reception date. I'm just going to call this on date, which means that on this date, I'm looking for the category of the client. And this is going to be the reception date, right? And then I need a third variable. In my third variable, I'm going to find a portion of the other table, a set of the other table, where I have this client and also the date that matches between the start and end dates. Because if I bring only according to this client, I'm going to have few lines because as we saw for this client, I have multiple lines on the other table also. So I want to bring a table, let's say, a part of the other table where it meets our condition for the date and also client. In our case, it's going to be one line because we know that there is no overlapping of the start and end date for the same client, right? So let's call our third variable in range. This is going to be a table function 
because we want to bring part of the other table, I can use filter function. Filter function basically brings a table here. And our table, so as we said, it's going to be categories. And we need only portion of the category. First of all, the client on this table, on the table of the categories, is going to be the client that I'm defining here. This is my first condition. So if I close the branches and only bring this part, this is going to be multiple lines, but I want only the line that matches the date. So I'm going to put my other condition. I'm going to go a line below, Alt Enter, Tab, and I'm going to say start date in the category table should be smaller or equal to our reception date on date and also alt enter our end date in the category table should be bigger the reception date right this variable is a table when i am on this line it is going to be a table where the client is only this client but also on this line, it is going to be the start dates and end dates that match this date, right? So this is only a condition of client and the condition of the range of dates. Having this alt enter, we are going to calculate return. And for this, I'm going to calculate what we want to bring is the category. Category is a column in another table. So I need to use a function here. I can use max min or first non blank just to bring the category. It depends on your on the need for this specific purpose where I know that I will have only one line and I can use any of these three functions because start date and end date wouldn't overlap on the different lines for the same client. It means that the client has only one category inside the range of dates. And if the range of date changes, it has another category. It means that I cannot have overlap of the dates with two categories. So I can use, but if we have multiple lines, these functions would work also, but then we need to see if it's all good for our purpose. We could adapt our calculation also. Here I'm going to use first non-blank and category basically first non blank brings the first value in the column of which the expression has a non blank value this might be the one for you also if you have multiple lines in the in the table variable and here's a category and i'm going to in the expression i'm going to only put true because I, as far as it finds the lines i want to bring i already do my job in range calculation i'm already filtering down the table to be always in the range that I want. The job is being done on this filter that I am providing here, right? If I hit enter, I see, for example, for this client on this date, I have BI as category. On this date, I have BM as category. We can go to our category table to check between 2020 and 2023, I have BI, and this is what I see because it's on that range, so I have BI. 2016, however, is happening on this range, so I have BM as, sorry, I have BM as, as the category. And however, I see blanks on our table, which means that for this client on this date, I don't have any category. We can verify this. My client is 89504. If I go in the category table and I filter down on 89504, I see that I have a category between 2015 and 24th January 2020. But here, reception is on March 2020. So the date doesn't match and it brings empty, right? So it's all good. So we are simply able to see the category of the client for each date. And we didn't have any relationship between the two tables. Our tables were client 
reception and the category and there is no relationship between them and as i said first thing that would come to our mind would be like lookup value but it wouldn't work here as we would like to because there was multiple lines in our category table for the same client right and also our approach would be different if we could make the relationship between this table and the other table okay so we reached our goal and i assure you that you would definitely have this kind of problems or this kind of calculations and needs in your job as a data analyst in the business world okay that's all i got for this time i hope you enjoyed it please like this video and don't hesitate to put comments it encourages me to continue providing you more content Thank you very much. Please subscribe to my channel for the coming videos. Until then, good luck. See you.